In today's video, we're gonna talk about what we would do if we had to restart over with only $10,000. Eddie, what's our plan? I'm putting it all on green. No! <laughs> <laughs> So Brendan Kelly, 8213, asked, if you guys had to start all over with a $10,000 budget, how would you spend it? So you already know, I'm going straight up 35, right to Windstar, and putting it all on green, right, Eddie? Yep. No, Eddie, wrong answer. <laughs> Bad <laughs> Eddie. Nice. Bad Eddie. <laughs> it's like, Eddie, where are you going? <laughs> I'm going to put it on green. Is that what we say? You don't even gamble like that. No, I don't. I play crap, so. Yeah, at first I thought you said you play craps. Like, what is craps? <laughs> what is crab? A cra no, oh, crab? Craps. <laughs> crab. <laughs> okay, so actually, we're going to do a whole video on this in the future. Hold us to it. I don't know when, though, but hold us to it. We're gonna do it. So, and we're actually going to use our real money and stuff. But let's go through the stuff. Let's work this out together, Eddie. Okay. So, like, our plan, we get $10,000. Let's say, say we get $10,000, and let's say we already have a vehicle. And we um, maybe have some way to transport. Let's just take that. So we just do straight inventory. Okay. Okay. So what would be the first things? Well, I, I think this like we discussed is I'd be market researching. Uh, yeah. I would find out like what, what what's popping in in the area, what's gonna sell, and then um, then after that I'm gonna I'm gonna find out like where can I get this stuff at. Yeah. Let's do some educated guesses. I think you want to know it's pure details. Oh, pure details. So yeah. So so how many twenty by twenties? How many <laughs> how many how many chairs? And what chairs? And then what tables? Well. I think if, if I knew what I knew right now, I'd start out with just tents. I wouldn't get any tables or anything. And you get the tables once you get the jobs? Exactly. And then do tents and tent chairs? Yes. Okay. Because, like, one thing that's, that I know, well, at least in this area, a lot of people just rent tents. Because the, the little guys that, that have cheaper, like, chairs and tables and stuff that they don't mind, they want to spend extra money on the tents itself. Yeah. And you can always partner with them. Yeah, exactly. You can partner with them. Yeah, or just up, release them for my dollar and yeah. sell you for two. Yeah, right. Like, well, <laughs> <laughs> so let's say that. So, so I think the tents right now are $2,000 until you get five 20 by 20s. Yeah. Is that kind of thing. And then get the, then maybe. Yeah, I want to get an all five 20 by 20s. I, I'd get maybe a 10 by 10, but probably two 10 by 10s and the rest and, 20 by 20s. Four 20 by four Yeah, because there's some backyards that are really narrow and they, they do like a 10 by 20, or if they just want 10 by 10s, and I can do that. So, so that'll get you a chance to make, um, you'll be able to make a 40 by 80, mm -hmm. or 40 by four, or 40 by 20, mm -hmm. or 40 by six. I mean, sorry, a, a 20, 20, by, four, 20 yeah. by 80, 20 by 40, 20 by 60, 20 by 20. You have yeah. those options for 10s. Yeah. And then on the 10 by 10s, I give you a 10 by 20 and a 10. Yeah. And a 10 by 10. So yeah. that gives you kind of the whole gauntlet for the most part. Yeah. What I'm banking on is that I get a festival, and then the festival is going to pay me basically to grow my inventory. Okay. And also, so you can do background, back, background, backyard work. Yeah, background. It's like, who ran his backyard background? <laughs> <laughs> but you can do that. Okay. So I, so I, so, um, I like that. Actually, I'm changing minds. I will do that. Mm. But what I was, you know, I was actually thinking about though, I was thinking about just pure linen operation, just nothing but linens, and then just partner with other um, rental companies who don't have, have the linens. So only customers you have to focus on getting specifically is other rental companies, specifically ones that don't do, um, that might not do what you call it. What do you um, that don't do like the don't iron, iron or, stuff or wash it or anything like that. Mm -hmm. and just do just that because that'll get you. Like, you'll be able to make your $10,000 back in one week. Yeah. And then you put it towards other stuff if you needed to. Um, and that's just assuming that, you know, you, you know, eventually, I guess, if you, you need to find some type of decent iron. They have some ones that are like $2,000 that are just, you can do like a small stream press. It won't be nothing crazy, but it'll work for what you're, with the kind of operation. If that was kind of like, I'm not really trying to do a whole bunch of moving around yeah. from there. But also, too, you can rent this and you can, so like, my only customers I would focus on would be, um, event uh, would be party right. planners mm -hmm. and then other rental companies and I would that's the base biggest thing but I like the tent option because um, I didn't take in the whole um, concept of getting the inventory just somewhere else just subleasing or just working with a partner on the stuff say I'm gonna do the tents and you just bring the chairs which we've had someone already reach out to us a couple yeah. times about that mm -hmm. um, and then that can work out because then you can do all those different options and a couple pieces and stuff so literally you get your first job you can use that money to buy the pieces to connect them together and the gutters and stuff and you'll be able to kind of roll everything together now if you're being really kind of crafty and you're looking around and stuff you might be able to find somebody who maybe um who gave up on the business um because they didn't watch the rental boys podcast and they didn't get the ultimate checklist you find one of them uh, uh, uh. and then you can get the tables and chairs and those maybe on the tables and stuff not chair the Tent. the tents and stuff maybe you can get them used in you know pretty much in pretty good, good really condition. good condition mm -hmm. and that can work out 
But when you start off, you just can't start with 10. But we'll show you exactly the best way to possibly do that. You have to get your income up very fast, which means you got to do a lot of stuff pre hand And it won't be $10,000. You might have to put in, you know, $10,000, $15,000, $15,000, $20,000 in equipment. And then you might have to put another five or so into um, with a vehicle. But, but if we go back from just this answer right here, if you are only doing this based off of, let's say you have a vehicle that you're going to do this in there, because depending on your vehicle, vehicle, depending on which way you go, if you have a pickup truck, you pretty much can go straight from the tent route, put everything back in your truck, be fine. If you have a minivan, basically do the same thing. Yeah, it's going to be up there in the front with you. The yeah, the post will be in the front with you. If you have a Nissan Altima, uh, you know, or Nissan Sentra, then you might got to, now you have to spend some of that money on getting a trailer, which... Or, or, you, or you can lay the seats down and then pop the hood up. And yeah, just run them out. The poles will be out. Yeah, kind of like ratchet strap the poles together. Yeah, kind of like those people. That, God, please, like those people that you up. see with the lawnmowers in mm -hmm. the back, you'd be sticking your stuff out. You can do that. Now it depends what type of vehicle ha you have. If you, if you do have a sedan, then you might want to look at too. Now you have to actually get a different vehicle, or you have to get a you have to get a, a U-Haul trailer hitch on the back, which we've done. I have a photo of it. Um, you've seen of my of the blue um, Mitsubishi Outlander. It's sport. You can do it. And you can get the trailer would be like seven hundred dollars, and then the actual um, the um, the trailer hitch is like four hundred something dollars. Yeah. So you might be looking like eleven $1 hundred something like that, twelve hundred dollars, um, that you can get buy some straps. Maybe that brings you to twelve fifty, twelve hundred and fifty dollars, and then um, you would just buy one less tent, so you have three. Um, what you call it? You have three. Um, you have three twenty by twenties and two ten by tens. And then if you only want to spend that, then you want to go into your insurance. Your insurance might be like fifty dollars. Going to get it from Next Insurance. Link down in the description. Um, let me see. What am I missing, Eddie? Um, you want to start with marketing. If you start with Google or something like that, you will get. They'll give you five hundred dollars that you can use if you spend five hundred dollars. So that'll kind of cover more of your marketing expenses. So we got like five hundred some dollars left. You probably, if you want to hire somebody technically, you think you want to make the money back that week. That can be. Your first, I guess technically, if you make money that week, they'll get, if you pay each person, we pay a week in the hole behind, mm -hmm. you might not need that. You can spend that on like some smaller inventory or something. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's the way you can do it if you didn't want to go through the whole plan. Um, but Brandon, what's his last, what's his kind of simple thing? Kelly. Brandon, ooh, all right, Brandon, I see you, I see you. All right, Brandon. All right, so Brandon, we appreciate you. Um, asking us this question. If you have any questions in the future of anybody else, just leave them down in the comments. Me and Eddie will get to them. Um, you might see Eddie pop up as him, as the one and only Eddie, and mm -hmm. acting crazy down there. Mm -hmm. But just let us- Uncensored too. Uncensored Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> just let us know and we get you taken care of. But we appreciate you so much for, you know, just being part of the Rental Boys community. Um, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Xavier Kelly. I'm Eddie Salcedo. And we'll see you in the next one. Get that ultimate checklist and all the links down in the description.